Hey everyone, this is Michael Mana and welcome to the T4 Show. In today's video, I want to update you on my experience using the Galaxy Gear Fit from Samsung. Now, I've had this for about eh, maybe a week and three days, and I have to say I really do enjoy wearing this device uh, day to day. It's, it's really comfortable, very light, and as a matter of fact, we're going to give a quick comparison uh, to the original Galaxy Gear. Here's uh, the original Galaxy Gear and the way it would fit. Uh, you can see there's not much room to really adjust this there are a few little holes here but it's very rigid because all the circuitry lives in here there's the speakerphone for talking and uh, the screen's still very nice on this original Galaxy Gear and even with the update it's running the same OS as the Galaxy Gear Fit and also the Galaxy Gear 2 and 2 Neo. Uh, this one here still still a really good smartwatch uh, but if you're going to spend a couple hundred bucks I would go with the Galaxy Gear Fit. This screen and just the way it, it fits on your wrist you can see there's many more uh, adjustable parts to this and also you can take out the uh, the gear and switch the band as well. I really do like using it there's the button, and of course you now have this new updated thing. It's been out for a little while, where you can actually, you don't have to turn your wrist uh, to see stuff. I'm going to go to the notifications, and you can see right here, the Josh Coleman sent me one, and I can delete it or show it on the device. There's the back button. I have to say for a touchscreen too, it actually has better responsiveness uh, than the S5, which I'm currently using with it. Uh, not really enjoying the S5. Uh, I ended up connecting this to, to the Note 3, and even though some of the S Health uh, functionality, from what I understand, uh, you know, doesn't live on the Note 3 like it does on the uh, S5, I find that the Note 3 is much uh, nicer to use, in my opinion, with this and um, a phone that big, 5.7 inches, uh, leads you to look at your smartwatch more for notifications. Really do like it. Uh, this is really nice for the exercise stuff too in the pedometer, although it can be a little inaccurate. Uh, for instance, when I do yoga, obviously it's not going to count my steps, my calories, or anything like that, but it's good if you if you run. Even sometimes on the elliptical, my arms are moving, so it's, it's, it's logging some sort of information from that. Now, like last time, a few comments on the uh, initial thing, talked about the heart rate monitor. When I was doing the bike, uh, it kind of worked, it kind of didn't. No chance of it working on the elliptical or anything where I absolutely I have to sit still. I really can't see clean the, I have cleaned it. So the heart rate monitor is kind of iffy. It does have a history. No history, that's weird. I, I had a history there. Very strange. Now the sleep functionality too, let's see if there's a history here. Here you go. May 30th, uh, 8 hours and 39 minutes, 86% motionless. I don't know how accurate that is either because I might have went to bed and I might have been in bed that long, but I didn't uh, feel like I slept that long. Now here we go with the battery. It's fully charged right now. Battery life has been very good for me. Uh, also the fact that you can switch wallpaper, uh, even what you want to double press. I have it on notifications. You can do a media controller. You can do shortcuts to, to just about anything that sits or resides on the watch. So I really do like that. You also have a privacy lock. You have a profile. You can reset the gear fit, uh, gear fit info. And like I said, it's very easy to go back to that. You can even hit the home button. And I like the addition of a home button on this and a new Galaxy Gear watches. Very nice. So let's take it off real quick and show you what I didn't show you last time, how we can pretty much take it off and put it in different colored bands or whatever you'd like. It's very nice. I wonder if there's an attachment in the future to actually use this, pin this to your um, to your shirt, much like a Misfit Shine, and work with it that way. It'd be really nice. So I really do like it. For $199, I think this is a great buy. Once again, I can't think, I don't think I can say it enough that the one Achilles heel of any of these smartphones with Samsung, which I think the second generation is very, very nice. I think that the uh, the only weakness is the fact that you have to use it with uh, a Samsung device. So I think they could really benefit 
if they just would open this up even all the way out to iOS and Windows Phone because these are really nice watches. I really do like the gear fit, but without the functionality and, and using it as a, a triage for notifications, you lose a good amount of functionality when it's not connected to uh, a Samsung phone. But that's my update experience. If you have any experiences of your own, any comments, I uh, even share any uh, wallpapers like I have a little kitty there. Uh, they're welcome here, so please subscribe and please like the video. But for now, for everybody here at the T4 Show, thank you and best of luck in all your future Galaxy Gear kitty wallpaper endeavors.